What up, players? It's War Boss Tay up in this mud. <laughs> Welcome to my daily Let's Build a Bane. Well, maybe not daily, but close enough. Let's Build a Bane Blade Project Apocalypse in September. So here I'm building up these side sponsons for the Bane Blade, and oh boy, howdy. I did not know that you get two different sides, a top and a bottom. So I'm doing one side here. And then uh, let's check out what happens. Oh, I'm so dumb. Can't believe I made this mistake. Don't make this mistake! Uh, I realized after building these that I used the top hatches for both of them as one, so they were totally uneven. <laughs> I was looking at the bottom hatches and um, or the bottom parts of this side sponson and I was like where's the other grate for it the one with the little vents here and then I looked at the one that I built and I flipped it over and I was like Arr. so it was a little frustrating I don't know if there's any way to better label that in the instructions but yeah you do want to make sure that you do not have you do not glue the same or the um the, the longer larger hatch to the smaller more compact one I love that you can be able to swivel these sponsons though. I think that's a really great touch and I really appreciate it. So now we're moving on to the little last cannons on top of them. So for all of these pieces, I cut them out, I clipped them out, and I cleaned up the mold lines. Now I'm just kind of showing you, uh, nobody wants to see that. So the uh, assembly is all about gluing the pieces together, fitting them together, and getting them to uh, match up. So these little, the top parts of the sponsons are really, really cool because they've got the rotating barrel. As long as you don't glue it, you can swivel it around, which the, the kid in me loves. So there's that side. And then I'll show you really quickly how I do the other side. I love that they have the little notches on it, the grooves where you put the pieces on, the plates. And it really helps to make sure that you don't make a mistake for newer or inexperienced Hobbyists. You don't have to glue the top there like I did. Top of the hatches. Uh, I've sorry I didn't record gluing up on the last cannons. Uh, I thought I did, but I missed it. But the last cannons are simple enough. You just clean them up and you pop them in, and there you put them onto the side sponsons. The last thing I kind of backed out to show you is that I put the turret on with the one crewman there. Decided to leave the second crewman out for now. Uh, the, the tank commander because in case you want to use a commissario make it make the tank a commissario crew that's an option in Apoc apocalypse you can have a commissar commanding the tank and uh, it's the perfect place to put commissar bane and give him his own bane blade so these uh, pieces go right onto there I decided I was thinking about whether or not I leave I should leave the side sponsons on because you can also magnetize them. But they're such big pieces and I'm not very good at magnetizing just yet, so I wanted to um, make that option. I take it off the table so nobody gets discouraged by how horribly my magnetization skills are at this point. And the top piece goes on. I think no matter what, it's gonna be a little bit uneven because there's such a big piece to, to smash on, but I just hold it down and that's pretty much all I'm doing for the rest of this video, just holding the top piece of the tank onto the bottom and the back right there. Try to fill up the seams, but I mean, it's just such a big piece and no matter what, you're gonna have a little bit of incongruity in your build. Some people use rubber bands to hold the pieces in place, a big, long, fat wide rubber bands and just wrap it around and around the hull of their tanks but I didn't have any on me and so I'm just using good old-fashioned American elbow grease. So you're gonna need to hold the back and the front on at the same time and if you use plastic glue like Zappa Gap has plastic glue not liquid cement but plastic glue it will dry faster not sure if it creates as good of a bond though as when the plastic cement dries so there you have it being blade all done up just some extra details to add and she'll be done and ready for painting thanks for watching everybody see you in the next video